All right, YouTubers, I've got a request to show how I have my PMA charging, my regulator, and my starter solenoid all hooked up with my Moto Gadget M unit. I'm gonna start right from the very beginning to try to eliminate any other confusion here, but I mean, hard to see with my camera, sorry. Starter in, coming from your starter button, in. You've got a hot leg passing through, obviously, from the starter out. Starter out, passes through, goes to your positive on your starter solenoid. Sorry, I'm not, another issue with focusing here. Then you've got your ground coming off your starter solenoid that I have passing back through and right to my grounding nut. So that's your starter solenoid. You got hot coming off the M unit, going to your hot leg of your starter solenoid, off your starter solenoid, you've got your ground to make your circuit. And then obviously you've got hot coming from your battery and then out to your starter. All right, so that's the starter solenoid. The charging system, this here is your hot leg coming off your 30 amp fuse where it comes with the kit. So you've got a hot leg coming off the battery and through the fuse coming and out of the fuse. I got one leg going to the M unit and another leg going right into your, you have to charge your charging system with a hot leg. This is my ground going to my ground nut. These are the three phases coming back from the, do you make it? So that's how your charging system should be hooked up. These are just random. They don't need to be hooked up in any order to your voltage regulator. They're all hot. And this is your positive going into your voltage regulator. And this is the grounding for your whole charging system. So obviously you want a good solid ground. And here's another thing I did in my project is I made sure I had solid ground going to my nut right off the battery and then everything shares there. And I also ran one leg from here all the way up into the headlight to have a common ground up front too. So I got good solid ground up front when I'm charging everything up there. And so this is up and running, but it's not tuned. I can turn this on and it shows you that the end unit is working. All right. And then if I come up here, which I made my starter button up front on the switch, that way there, I can't accidentally hit it while I'm doing lights and everything else here. So I thought that was the best idea to put it up front. So when hitting the starter button, I'm not going to start it. I'm just going to turn it over. There you go. That's normal. And the other thing that's normal, your headlight will not turn on until the bike has been started or starter has been turned over. The headlight automatically turns on, but hopefully that covers it. Hot going into your charging system. You've got a, a ground going to ground and your three phases with all the connections that came. I got this from Hughes XS. So this all came as a kit with all the connectors and everything, but that's basically it right there in a nutshell. Thanks. Bye.